doing a single engine ILS approach, it is critical that as you get closer to the runway, your flight director always, but especially as you approach the runway, is absolutely centered. What do I mean by that? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com, author of this book, The Typewriting Playbook to Success, and several other books. You can grab this at our website, but the best thing to do is get the video and the audio download that also comes with this, OneStepPrep.com slash playbook. There's a picture here on page 26. You can see on the uh, left side what is referred to as good flight director tracking and on the right side, bad. The good side has basically perfectly centered flight director, the bad side not so much. Now, as you approach the runway, particularly single engine, but really even two engines, the bad tracking that you see there will become a very large problem for you. Because remember, on an ILS approach, you're effectively flying into a cone. It oftentimes is depicted as a feather, as we see on the approach charts, right? And so the closer you get, the more sensitive that localizer uh, receiver is going to become. And the result is that even the slightest variation of flight director tracking that is not perfectly centered will often result in you being so far displaced off of that center line that in very low visibility conditions, you can quickly become unstable and not in a position to continue the approach and land, which ultimately is going to result in you conducting a single engine go around. Now, of course, if you're never in a position to land, what do we do? We go around. But ideally, when you're in the world of certainly checking, the go around hopefully is initiated because of the compliance, uh, the necessity to do a single engine go around on your ride and not necessarily one that is self-induced because of your lack of flight director tracking. This is one of many examples that I give in this book, uh, Typewriting Playbook to Success, things that you should look out for in your typewriting training. And the beauty of this book is it's generic. Notice this is not the 737 or the 320 Typewriting Playbook to Success. It's the Typewriting Playbook to Success. Uh, whether you're getting typed on a CRJ or a Gulfstream or a 320, 73, 74, 350, 380, really doesn't matter. These principles apply regardless of what type rating you're applying for or you're going through training for. And I'm certain that it's going to help you in your initial, your recurrent, your upgrade, your recall, circling restriction removal, whatever it may be. And by the way, we offer those very courses here, OneStepPrep.com. On another note, this is another book that I've written, Flight Plan. It's about 235 pages. Very easy read. It's all on finance, uh, mindset, and communication. And for those of you really looking to boost your communication, we have the AX3 instruction certification workbook and manual. That you will receive when you do the AX3 certification with myself, which I'm doing one tomorrow, November 4th. You can enroll at ax3certification.com forward slash enroll. Look, somehow we want to work with you. By the way, this book, I failed to tell you, this is at onestepprep.net. Uh, that's more of my personal site. If you go to OneStepPrep.com, that's more of the flight school. Uh, and then, of course, we have One Step Prep Academy, which is the FAA-approved courses where you can acquire your type rating, your FAA ATP, and do many other things with us. All right, very much look forward to working with you here. Come by. We can jump in the studio and record something. Maybe you'll end up on a YouTube video with us. All right, look forward to seeing you here in Miami.